The Universal Service Fund, commonly referred to as USF, is a federal program originating from the Communications Act of 1934 and updated in the 1996 Telecommunications Act. The USF was founded on the principle that all Americans, no matter where they live, deserve access to communications technology at affordable rates and comparable quality to that of urban areas. While this concept first applied solely to telephones, it was later expanded to include broadband internet too. We'll discuss this in more detail later in this series, but for now, let's take a closer look at why Congress deemed universal service funding to be necessary. Rural and tribal telecommunications companies, or telcos, face unique challenges when building their networks. For example, high costs related to challenging terrain and low population density. In other words, a much smaller customer base spread across a much larger space compared to urban service areas. These challenges result in a lack of commercial interest to serve rural territories. Even in areas such as small towns where some profit can be made, it's typically not enough to motivate large companies such as Verizon, AT&T, and other national providers. Understandably, these companies tend to focus on areas of higher population density in order to maximize returns on investment. It's also important to keep in mind that communications technology is always changing. After deploying the network, telcos and internet service providers, or ISPs, must continue to maintain and upgrade the network as necessary. Absent the USF, customers in rural and tribal areas could be charged several hundred dollars per month for basic phone service. This, in a nutshell, is where the Federal Universal Service charge on your phone bill comes from. Now, some of you may be asking yourselves, why should I pay for rural phone and internet service if I live in the city? That's a fair question, and one which we'll address thoroughly in the next video, which should pop up here. All links to relevant legislation and other sources may be found in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.